Hey everybody, and welcome back once again to our Weymouth series. Today's episode will see us taking on West Ham and Leeds in the Premier League, but we're kicking off the episode today with the group stage draw of the Europa League. Our first ever European draw. Let us see who we will be facing off against. We're just going to go all in and draw all teams. So we get Hearts from Scotland, Atalanta from Italy, and Sion from Switzerland. I definitely think we can finish at least second in this group. I think obviously Atalanta are going to be our biggest competition in this group. Hearts from Scotland. Last year they finished in third. And I'm pretty sure we have enough to see them off. I mean, their best player is a Czech striker who actually doesn't look too bad. But I don't think they're going to have the same amount of quality as we do. Atalanta finishing in fifth place of Serie A. Take a quick look at them. Their best player is a right back who is 21 years old. And I very much like the look of him. Those are some really good physical and mental attributes. But I think we will have enough to advance to the knockout stages. Sion, the fourth team, are in an unplayable league. So I expect them to be the weakest team in the group. There's a look at their best player. He is a fullback. Not that great if we're being honest. So I'm liking our chances to advance to the knockout stages of the Europa League. And you know what? Hopefully we can go on a nice little run and let's just see how far we can go in that competition. Uh, but before we advance anymore, let's take a look at a schedule. And we have played two games since the last time. First up, we took on Wolves and it was a thrilling 3-2 victory over them. Mickey Belgrave kicking off the goal scoring in the eighth minute. Then Alexander Novo making it two goals in two games, scoring in the 14th minute. They then fought back in the second half and tied things up before Ware Pacquia converted from the spot in the 70th minute to give us the game winner. Good victory against a good team there. Then it was a 4-0 victory over Darby, Pacquia, Mendez, Brumer, and Bolian. Getting on the score sheet for us there, Gavin Boylan, our homegrown academy player, getting his very first Premier League goal. What a moment from our young Irish striker. So after three games in the Premier League, we are sitting top of the table. Unbelievable scenes here at Weymouth. Three games unbeaten in the Premier League, sitting top on goal difference. So let me go ahead and get up to that West Ham game and I'll bring you back and we'll get this game underway. All right, we are back and just about to take on West Ham. No surprises to our lineup today. Mattia Rodolfi returns to the starting lineup since the very first game against Villa after missing out on the last two games. So I'm not sure he will go the full 90. We'll have to keep an eye out on him. But let's go ahead and get this one underway. We are away at the London Stadium, taking on West Ham, who are near the bottom of the table. And we are underway here. Come on, you Terras, let's keep up this early form. First highlight of the day is going to the Terras. Off of a throw-in. We are working the ball well here. Looking for an opening. Eaton uh, bringing it forward a little bit. Looking for some options still. Goes out to Broomer on the left-hand side. He plays it back to Bruno Mendes who heads it home. His third goal of the season. It's 1-0 to the Terrace 15 minutes in. Great patient build-up play. And then Adriano sees Broomer, switches play. Broomer with a very nice cross. 1-0. Let's frickin' go. Second highlight, Terra's on the ball once again. Adriano looking for options. Him and Rufo playing it around. Rufo then whips it across. It's still dangerous here for the Terra's. 
makes its way back over to Rufo, and he picks out Bruno Mendez, who does not have a good shot there. He definitely should have done better. But the highlight is going on, and the Terras win the ball back. David Coteau, bringing it forward, picks out Bruno Mendez, who crosses in, and he repays the favor. This time it's Bruno Mendez to Tom Broomer. Same result, 2-0 to the Terras. That was a beautiful play. Look at that. Tom Brumer has started off this season in incredible form. Let's go 2-0. West Ham with a highlight late into the first half, but we win the ball off of them, but we're not able to hold on to it, and they have the ball back once again. David Coteau wins it back. Now we're looking to bring it forward ourselves. Mattia Rodolfi. Go on, son. Aw. Oh. Gonna have to have an incredible shot to get a goal there. Uh, Bruno Mendez picks up an injury right on the brink of halftime. So we're gonna sub him off here at halftime. But we are up 2-0 at halftime thanks to Mendez and Brumer. Second half is underway. We brought on Xavier Amici for Bruno Mendez who picked up an injury. And we're straight into a highlight. Oh, Rodolfi, you have to be scoring that opportunity. It is saved out for a corner, and Adriano is going to take this corner. Oh, that was very dangerous. We went another corner out of it. Can we get ahead on it this time? Whipped in again by Adriano, and once again, it's cleared out by West Ham, but Bruma is on the ball. Oh, could have nearly been a penalty, but West Ham defend well there. Oh, it's another injury. This time it is Callum Eaton. So we're going to make a substitution and bring on a pro Quebec for Callum Eaton. And we do have a corner here. Let's see if we can capitalize on it this time. Adriano whips it in. And West Ham again clear it away. The highlight is still going on here. Rufo picks it up. Looking to pump it back in the box here. Yes, it plays out to Tom Broomer. He overruns it, but gets the ball back. He whips it in, and Xavier Amici has his header cleared off the line. Oh, man. Highlight for West Ham now, but they turn it over off of a goal kick. We're bringing it forward. Rufo whipping across. Plays it over to Ma Marcio, and our shot goes out for a goal kick. Another highlight for the Terras. Go on. Let's get a third goal here, boys. Oh, it's cleared out. West Ham bringing it forward now. Let's not concede, boys. Oh, great save by Gomez, and we do survive. Time to make our third and final substitution. It's going to be Christian Marsiler coming on for David Coteau. It's a highlight for West Ham if we concede here. It is going to be a very nervous final 10 minutes of this game. And they have an opportunity whipping across. They do. Novo heads it away. And wow, thankfully that shot goes over off of that deflection. It's uh, West Ham bringing it forward here. Guys, get your concentration back. We're giving them way too many opportunities here. We have a highlight off of the goal kick. If we can get a goal here, it'll be all three points coming to the Terras. Xavier Amici whips it in for Tom Broomer. His second goal of the day. Let's go. Tom Broomer is on fire. Your defense is terrified. Great play by Xavier Amici here. Tom Broomer is loving life. Oh, we have another highlight. Could we find a fourth goal in this game? Well, we turn it over. West Ham looking dangerous here. Oh, Marsiler, what are you doing? What a poor way to lose the clean sheet. Marsiler has had a stinker. And that is the full-time whistle. It is a 3-1 victory 
for the Terras. Tom Brumer getting a brace. Bruno Mendez getting the other goal. Gave up a very late sloppy goal to West Ham. Ruined our clean sheet. Need to do better there. But three points and we are still perfect on the season. All right, we're back. Just about to take on Leeds. Unchanged lineup today, but Xavier Amici is out for a couple of weeks, up to two weeks, so he is not on the bench and is actually going to miss out on our first Europa League game, as well as the Chelsea game afterwards, which as a spoiler, that is going to be our next episode. So uh, a little bit of a weekend bench, so hopefully... Bruno Mendes is able to go out there for a full 90. But let's go ahead and get this one underway. We are back at home at the Bob Lucas Park taking on Leeds. And we're underway here once again. Come on, you Terras. Let's see if we can stay unbeaten once again. It's an early free kick for Leeds United, though. And it's an early goal. We are down 1-0. Seven minutes into the game. Not a good start for the Terras at all. Poor defending from that free kick. And that's another free kick for Leeds. And it's 2-0 and we haven't even made it 10 minutes into the game. Disastrous start here. Wow. What are we doing? Gomez. Wasn't even close. Extremely poor. We are straight into a highlight. Can we get something out of this and peg him back? Looking for some options here. We play it over to Novo. Bringing it up the left hand side now. Koto, can you whip it across? He turns it over. Thankfully, Marcio is able to win it back, and we're still on the ball. Play it back to our center backs, and we end up playing it all the way back to Gomez. Looking to pull him out of their show a little bit here. And Broomer is bringing it forward now. He plays it over to Mendez, who plays it down to Rodolfi, who fires it in there for his first goal of the season. And that is a huge goal for us. Getting back down by just one goal. 11 minutes in the game now. Yes, come on, boys. All right, we got another highlight. Leeds United on the ball. Let's press them and win the ball back here, boys. Let's not concede again. Let's not do it. Good job, Rufo. Bruno Mendes is going to get there. All right, let's go. Plays up the Rodolfi. Oh, he's just not able to get there. The center back did a very good job there. And Costa... Is flying forward here with leads, and we bring him down for a penalty. Wow, Callum Eaton, that was a terrible challenge. Come on, Gomez, come up big here. Wow, he was not going to save that one, but he didn't even move. Back down by two goals. Extremely poor first half from the Terrace here. It's another highlight for Leeds. Oh, but Marcio wins it off of him. Let's go. Let's go. Is he going to go all the way? He does. It was an easy save. Well, there's half time, and we are down 3-1 to one against Leeds. Not good enough at all from the Terras. Getting beaten at home. Very, very poor. And it's an early corner. Adriano to whip this in. Oh, it's cleared off of the line. Oh, wow. And they defend our second opportunity there. Dang. All right, we're going to make our first substitution here. We're going to bring on our young academy player, Dusan Matevsky, the Macedonian striker slash winger. He's coming on for Bruno Mendez. Making his debut. Let's go, Dusan. Uh, it's a free kick for Leeds. 
Wow, they hit the crossbar. We cannot defend their free kicks at all. Second substitution, we're going to bring on Prokebek for a Novo. And we're also going to bring on Nikola Racic for Adriano. Come on, boys. 20 minutes. We need to do something. And quickly. We do have a throw in here. Come on. Whip it in, yes. Ah, oh, Tom Broomer. Not quite able to get on that. The defender... Gets there first, but we're still on the ball. Yes, go on, Dusan. Oh, his cross gets blocked off. All right, we win the ball back. We got to pump it forward here. We're still on it. Come on. Broomer. Yes, go on, Broomer. Go on, Broomer. Oh, that was poor. That was poor. And it's a free kick for Leeds, which means they're probably going to score. But they don't. We're still on it. Rodolfi has it. Looking for his options. He cuts inside. Is he going to go all the way? He does. Oh, no. He didn't finish it, though. We do have a corner. Dusan whips it in. It's a goal. Matt here. Rodolfi gets his second of the day. Dusan Matevsky gets an assist on his debut. We have about six minutes plus extra time. Come on, can we do it? It's a free kick, but it's for Leeds. And it goes out for a goal kick, and the ref blows for full time. We have our first defeat of the season, and it is against Leeds. Losing 3-2 at home. Rodolfi getting a brace. Just not good enough defensively. First 10 minutes conceding twice. Unacceptable. Both from set pieces. We need to work on that. So, after today's episode, we're sitting down in third place. Five games have been played. We've won four and lost one. We were so close to being top of the table after five games. But we slip up against Leeds. But hey, third place after five is pretty pretty. Is a pretty big deal here. So, as I mentioned... Next episode, we're going to be taking on Hearts and Chelsea. It's going to be our very first game in European football, in the Europa League, taking on a Scottish team. Maybe not quite as exciting, but if you have enjoyed this episode, go ahead and leave the video a like down below. And if you are new around here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel. And until next time, it's been your Boyd147.